COC's Native American and Indigenous Alliance met a few days ago, discussing topics that concern their community. The meeting shed a new light for entering members that may not have had any education on the subject. It made me think of how uh, inconsiderate I am or how I used to think about Native Americans and, well, see, I didn't even know, like, they don't like being called Native Americans, but, like, we're so uh, trained, in a way, to talk that way. Michael Felix, one of the leaders in the club, tells us more about sharing his cultures and providing visibility in the COC community. Sides of me. Uh, there's just something that speaks to me and appeals to me about um, indigenous cultures, indigenous history. Um, I, I, I sometimes think that um, indigenous storytelling techniques have always been with me because ever since I was a child, I seem to have this ability to, um, to, to talk and speak and speak without fear and to tell stories. After discovering where his roots come from, the Papago people of Arizona, and the Yaqui tribe of Sonora, Mexico. Michael's roots are helping him grow every day as an educator. Multiculturalism, I like studying that kind of material. I like teaching about others about that kind of material. And I also uh, embrace diversity and multiculturalism in, in everything that I do. So it's, it's my career. It's what I do on a daily basis. It's what I practice. So. These kinds of activities, being a co-lead for a Native American and Indigenous Alliance, were just like a perfect um, alignment of the stars for me. It just really was like, it's, it fits my personality, it fits my goals, it fits my, my role on campus as a teacher of or an instructor of multiculturalism and diversity in the history department. I'm Michelle Underwood for Canyons News. They acquire a lot of greater oral histories, especially that comes from uh, elders, 